Hey guys, thanks for clicking this video. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, remember to click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, and if you really want to support me, then consider being a Luxe channel supporter for $4.99 a month. You'll get loyalty badges next to your name, you'll get custom emojis, you'll get rough cuts and bloopers, you'll get discounted merchandise, connect with you on social media, and also you get your name mentioned at the start of each video, like this. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. You join me today in Tetbury. More importantly, the DVSA checkpoint in Tetbury. Uh, we've just been pulled by uh, by the DVSA. Uh, never happened before, first time. Pulled in front of me, uh, quite aggressively actually. I'll, I'll talk to you about that in a bit. He pulled in front of me, uh, put his uh, follow me sign on, uh, put his flashing beacons on and we had to follow him, follow him into Tetbury. So yeah, they've uh, they've done the checks. They wouldn't allow me to film while they were doing it. I did ask and they said no. And uh, they didn't want to be on camera or anything like that. So would have been good to show that, but they, they didn't allow me basically. But yeah, they've checked the truck over. They checked the load, it's all secure. Uh, they checked my card, attack a card. It's all, all good, all above board. Uh, I've just got to do the curtains up and, uh, and crack on with the day really. But yeah, interesting experience. Um, I, I talked to you about it a little bit more in, in, in a moment when I'm off, but uh, I wasn't very happy with them, to be honest. Uh, but I'll tell you a bit more about that in a sec. Right, we're back in the truck. We've got the paperwork. Uh, technical roadside inspection report. It's got the operator's license ID, the company, Harry and Sons Haulage, the registration, trailer ID. Uh, identification checked, braking equipment checked, steering checked, visibility checked, lightning, lighting equipment and electrical system checked, axles, weight, tyres, suspension, chassis, uh, chassis att uh, attachments uh, checked, nuisance checked, uh, supplementary tests, M2 and M3 vehicles checked, cargo security checked, all good, um, place, visit uh, place where issued, Tormanton, Weybridge, M4 slash A46, Gloucestershire, so yeah, it's all good. Um, yeah, happy days. <laughs> so, is it right? Here's the thing, right? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm a lot of people have got negative stuff to say about DVSA, you know, they're a nuisance and all this and blah blah blah. But you know, they do a job like we all do. We all do a job, by the way. I am still in here right now. They've told me I've got to go around here to the left. Uh, they're just doing their job. They're making sure vehicles are on the road safely. I don't know why I can't go out that way. They've told me specifically to come round here and all the way around. But yeah, no, DVSA, they, they do a job. They're, they're just checking to make sure vehicles are safe on the road, as they should be, right? So they don't deserve all the hate that they get, in my opinion. I'm, I'm actually pro DVSA. I think they do a good job. Um, for example, there's a foreigner truck here on the left obviously something's wrong with it because I don't know if you saw but it's got a lock on it on its drive axle um, I think I did, did I go the right way yeah I think I did did he no I think I've gone the right way I swear he said go round by the trees I can't go round by the trees this is the right way okay so yeah there's uh, there's clearly something wrong with that truck because there's green there's like a green lock on it um, so and he's been here, been here the whole time. So there's there's clearly something wrong with uh, with that. Let me say bye bye to my mates. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm pro. I am pro DVSA. I believe in what they do. However, I wasn't happy with the way they pulled me, and <laughs> I wasn't happy with what they said when I got pulled in. One of the officer that that uh, pulled me out on the road. By the way, we're on the. Uh, I think I already said we're on the M4. Bath Junction, which is Junction 18. When the DVSA officer pulled me, took me in there and uh, come over to the window, window, he, he basically did his, you know, asked for the IDs and all that. 
which I'll talk about that in a second. But he said, can I ask you why you slowed down when I pulled in front of you? And that annoyed me because I slowed down because you got in front of me, mate. Like, you poured right in front of me. <laughs> um, I actually said to myself, when you poured in front, Jesus Christ, mate, like, I, I had to back off. I was, I was going to hit you. So that's why I backed off. He, and he sort of said, why did you slow down to 45 mile an hour? So two reasons, because you poured in front of me, which you know, I said to him, I said, I don't, excuse my language. I said, I don't want to be a dick by saying this, but the way you poured in front of me was very aggressive. Um, and I also, I was heavy and we were going up a hill, a slight hill. So that's why I slowed down. So that's the first thing that annoyed me. Um, that's actually the only thing that annoyed me, <laughs> but it annoyed me nonetheless. Uh, but I was, I'm not going to lie, when they did pull me in, I was very nervous. Uh, I've never been pulled before, that was the first time I've been pulled. And um, he asked me, another bloke, because there's different blokes that do it. One of them asked me for my driving license and my CPC card. And I gave them my CPC card and my taco card. <laughs> now my taco card is supposed to be in the machine up there, which it is. But my taco expires in 19 days and I've got a new card ready to go. But, so I've given him my new card and my CPC card. And um, for a split second, he must have thought I was driving without a taco card or someone else's card or, or something. Because he was like, uh, drive, you're giving me your taco card here. <laughs> that was, it was quite a funny moment. It was like, uh, nah, I am using the taco card, mate. Here it is. But yeah, now I took my card out. They took it off. They did their checks and uh, there was nothing wrong with, with my taco card. So um, happy days. We've, we've uh, as a new company, we've gone in, we've gone out. Uh, nothing wrong with the truck mechanically. Um, Good, good result so off we go downside is uh, we <laughs> we were going to be at our destination for like 20 past 3 uh, i.e. in time to be tipped uh, however we're now going to be there at 20 past 4 and um, he's having a good look and um, a lot of places don't take deliveries after 4 o'clock so I'm going to make my way there uh, we're going to Newcastle Emlyn in Wales apparently Scott's been there recently and is actually in his recent vlog coming out the weekend so depending on when this video is released Scott's about to either release a video where he goes to the same place or already has either way basically both me and Scott are going to be releasing a video on the weekend going to the same place that's quite cool so yeah so uh, yeah it's uh, it's, it's just gone half past one we're uh, 124 miles away uh, two hours and 40 minutes we need to get get crack a lack in as the top says get our foot down, make our way there, and see if we can get tipped. So, uh, yeah, let's go. See you in a bit. Right, we are in Wales. Uh, we're not too far away from where we need to deliver. I have already phoned them up, uh, and they've said that they will not take the delivery today, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So we're going to be parking up around the corner. Uh, right next door, there's a supermarket called CK Supermarket. Now, I phoned them up, and I've asked permission to park in their car park. They've said yes. They very kindly said yes. So that's where we're going to be parking uh, tonight. Now, I have an issue. Right behind me, there is a tipper driver. Right up my bottom. Like, I mean right up my bottom. Uh, being very aggressive, again, like the DVSA officer earlier. To the extent he's actually beeping his bloody horn. So, he's been stuck behind me all the way on these country roads. There's no way for me to pull over or allow him through. I'm not coming to a stop to allow him to overtake me. He's just being just be basically being an idiot so yeah I'm having a bit of fun slowing down at the corners <laughs> but uh yeah we're, we're coming to the end in, a, in about a mile and a half be interesting to see what he uh, what he does but yeah he's right right up my uh, my back side tip the driver behind me very aggressive I will get the company name if he goes past me because there's, uh, there's no need for it, to be honest. Right, temporary traffic lights. Right, this is going to be a very tight, very tight this is going to be. There's a post on my left. Ooh. Welsh roads, man. Fully loaded Arctic. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm definitely pleasing that tipper driver behind me. Uh, he ain't going to be happy. <laughs> Sod him. This is good. Right, 
Uh, yeah, it's on the right hand side of here, that. No, is it the next one? Yeah, it's the next one. Okay, there. No. Next one. No. <laughs> Maybe the next one then. Yeah, that's it. That's where I'm parking there. But I've, I've been told to come round this way, go round in a circle. So that's what I'm going to do. That's where I'm delivering in the morning to those guys. That guy's putting his hand up at me, tip the driver. Don't know why, I, hopefully that was on camera. Right, I'm delivering to these guys here. Yeah, but they said deliver it in the morning. So we're turning right into this car park, slash supermarket. And uh, go in here. Yeah, I don't know what that tip of driver's problem was because I wasn't driving unnecessarily, uh, unnecessarily slow or anything like that. I was driving to the road conditions. You know, a fully loaded Arctic going down a hill. I don't know whether he, he had a class one license. He probably ain't got a clue how to drive himself. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping that someone can tell me who his company is and report him because that was just ridiculous. Right, I've been specifically told to park under these branches by the supermarket. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I've been uh, specifically told to park here, so I will. And then it's just a case of going out here, turning right, and then going back down the, uh, the way we did. I am gonna raise the suspension on the truck, lift the back end up to try and level it out a bit more, because we're slight, on a slight hill but nothing, uh, nothing too bad. And I'm gonna go in the supermarket and get some food because I've got a microwave up there now, so I can cook some microwavable food. Ah, dearie, 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 dearie. I'm really annoyed now about that tipper driver, just being an absolute, oh, I'm sorry, knob. Absolute knob, so unprofessional. He was getting over into the right-hand side lane, showing me he, he was there, he was honking his horn. For what? Mate, it's a road, like, you'll be, you're stuck behind another lorry, deal with it, so, yeah, I hope someone can say who, uh, who his company is, but yeah, anyway, yeah, <laughs> I've had a bit of a stressful day today, <laughs> right, I'm going to do some faith work, do some end of day checks, and then get some food, and good morning, it is now almost a quarter past six in the morning, um, yeah, good night actually. We stayed here overnight and good night's sleep to be fair. Not too noisy, which is all good. Right, so the place we're delivering to, which is obviously literally just around the corner, they don't open up until 7 o'clock. That being said, we want to at least be on the gate first. <laughs> we don't want to, we don't know what, we don't want to have to have been parked here all night to find out someone else has beat us there. So we need to, uh, we need to get onto the gate basically, which is what we're gonna do now. Uh, and just be the first one there. Even though, even though we're gonna be like 45 minutes early uh, before they even open, we just, you know, wanna be the first one on the gate. So we can be first one in, first one out, and then we can crack on with what else we've got to do today. After we've delivered here in South Wales, um, if you can call it South Wales, We've got to go to Portby Dock to get reloaded with uh, Slate, I think, and then take it to Hungerford. So um, that's the uh, the next plan, anyway. 
Right, someone's just turned up and has asked me to uh, to reverse on in. I'm just going to have to turn the lights off just so I can uh, see a bit better outside because it is still dark out. Yeah, I can't really see much to be fair. Yeah, trouble is it's so dark it's just hard to see at the moment. Only just about see stuff. I think we're in. Yeah, that gate <laughs> that gate was actually a lot closer to my left than I thought. <laughs> Go, mate. Yeah. Wants me to get over a bit more to the right. Yeah, I can literally only just see him. Oh, that's better. Now that light's turned off. Can't see you, mate. Can't see you. You've gone. I did. Yeah, he's. <laughs> it's quite quite dark out, so you can barely barely see. But I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Right, let's get the bags off. Right, we're in. Uh, all the straps are off. You can see the straps are rolled up on the bed. Look. So I've taken all the straps off. I rolled them up. I put them away in a sec. But yeah, that's quite dark getting in here. It's not the biggest of yards, but uh, we got in. We got in. So yeah, they offloaded me from one side, all the way along, back to front, and then um, we we'll drive out of here and crack on. Crack on to the next job. All right, mate. That's all right, buddy. Right. Okay, mate. No worries. Yeah, we're uh, we're tipped now. But there's uh, there's a van stopping us from getting out. But he's kind enough to move. Happy days. Right. What is my route back? So we're taking a different route uh, back to the one that we used to come in because we had to reverse in this gate, which is why we come in the way we did. But um, so we could come in from the other way, but we can go back the other way because we can't turn left here. If that makes sense in any way. But uh, yes. 
it's a bit of a, a bit of a blind left, which is why I've got the seatbelt off. It's a lot nicer in the daylight. <laughs> this morning, I couldn't see anything. <laughs> it was like pitch black almost. Right, the seatbelt on. We were just parked up there. Happy days. We're good to go. So yeah, we're going to uh, head now to Portbury. We do need to get some fuel on the way. Um, so I'm stopping at a service, I can't remember what it's called now. Something Clap or something, I can't remember. But we're, it's an Esso garage, I know that. I know it's an Esso garage. Oh, my lights off, I've got my interior lights on still. Uh, what was it called? What was that carriage? Uh, cross, cross Hands Garage, I believe. Uh, it takes key fuels. We've got a quarter, of a quarter of a tank of fuel right now, so we've got plenty of fuel to get there. Uh, we'll just top out with fuel when we do get there. Uh, maybe get a 15 minute break in, get some breakfast. I don't know, who knows. And, uh, and then we've got to go to Portbury Docks, get reloaded with what I'm assuming is slate. Um, and then we've got to deliver to Hungerford, which is sort of junction 13, 14, junction 14 on the M4. So, um, yeah, that'll be delivery this afternoon. And then from there, I suspect, if I had to guess, I'll be going back to Tetbury or the yard to, re to reload for Friday. I'm assuming, I'm not sure, but that's what I would hazard a guess at anyway. Right, let's go. Hopefully we don't have any tipper drivers behind me. Um, I got a funny feeling that tipper driver yesterday worked for a company called Something Something Evans. Not sure, but, and I hate to, to, to call out other drivers because we're all in the same industry doing the same job, but he was an absolute utter dick. And I'm sorry, but he was. He was right up my chuff. He was in the middle lane, uh, like hovering the middle lane so I could see him in my mirror, right up my chuff. And he was sort of giving me hand gestures and I was doing absolutely nothing wrong other than driving sensibly for the road conditions. Fully loaded Arctic down country lanes. Uh, I think I wasn't going fast enough for him. I think that was his issue. Um, you know, it might be a, a 50 mile an hour road limit, speed limit, but I can only do 30 or 40 on bendy roads when I'm fully loaded. Um, and I don't want to use my brakes too much. I'm using the engine brake. So, sod him. But yeah, no, absolutely disrespectful. Not, not a professional in the slightest. But then again, he is a tipper driver, so there we go. <laughs> I can say that because I used to be one. Right, anyway, let's crack on. We're going to head towards the garage. Got uh, plenty of country lanes now to, uh, to navigate before we get to the uh, A48. Uh, and then we get on to the M4 and uh, head to Port Bridge. See you in a bit. Well, when I woke up, she was looking at me. She told me I've been cheating on her in her dream. Lord, it wasn't a thing I could do or say to change her mind in any way. She told me that things was gonna change if I wanted her. I couldn't stay the same, so I stopped going down Friday night. I stopped drinking with the boys. Yeah, everything she asked. Right, you join me coming off of the M5. We're going to head now into Portbury Docks. Um, so yeah, we've got to get loaded with what I'm assuming is slate. It might not be. I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, it's got to go to Hungerford, but I don't actually know where in Hungerford it's going yet. So it's, uh, it's all going to be new. I haven't delivered to Hungerford with slate before, so I have no idea who it is. So we'll find out when we get the paperwork but for now let's go on in right here we are Portby Docks say hello to the policeman open the barrier mate let's go let us in hello we are in the docks so we've got to go to UECC I have been loaded out of here before many times. So I know exactly where they are. 
Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, they're not going to be too busy. But they have been known to be quite busy. They have been known to uh, to have a lot of uh, trucks queuing up to get in. Uh, one, two, there's one just coming round. Two trucks queuing up. Hopefully we'll be the third one. We'll let him through. And it's normally these wooden crates on the right that we get loaded with. And they've got a slate in inside of them. Okay, in we go. Let's double check it's clear left and right because this is essentially a crossroad. Excellente, excellente. There's a lot of, uh, lot of machines here right on the left. Nice to put a container on. That's a big machine. Right, let's go right down here. Yeah, I am the third truck. Not too bad. Sometimes we're queuing up all the way back there. Not too shabby. So yes, we'll um, we'll just sit tight here for a second. Well, I need to go and give him my reference number. Give him the uh, registration number, and then they'll, um, they'll come and load me when they're ready. Why are you beeping? Yeah, all good. All good. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Okay, here we are. Uh, we just got loaded with all these coils. They're all uh, all strapped up, ready to go. I've already done the other side of the curtain up. Uh, 25 of these. One on the back as well, look. 25 coils, going to Hungerford. I'm not actually sure where in Hungerford they're going yet. But, uh, yes, we have been here a while. Truth, truth be told, I think I think they forgot I was here. Because uh, someone come up to me and he goes, what are, you, what are you getting loaded with, Drive? And I sort of said, I think I'm getting loaded with slate. Because as far as I was aware, that's what I was getting. Uh, anyway, I got here half past 10. It's now quarter one, so we've got to get going. I'll just do this curtains up, get our paperwork, and uh, get going. And we will make it in time, hopefully, to be offloaded. Finally, finally we are loaded. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm just going to take my high vis off. Excuse my big ears. Um, yeah. Half past ten we got here. It's now ten to one. So that's half eleven, half twelve. Two hours and twenty minutes. Nearly, nearly two and a half hours. And then let's go. So yeah, we're going to Hungerford. We're going to a place called Salt Sir. I think it's said in the paperwork. Yeah, Salt Salt Sir. Salt Sir. Can have to put the glass on because it's very bright outside. Very bright. Right, we're gonna take a left. We're gonna take a left. Brilliant. I mean, the good news is we're still gonna be there for quarter past two, so it's not like it's not like we're gonna be there late. But you know, it is gonna mean now I probably can't get preloaded tonight if I'm getting loaded out of Tetbury, for example. I better stop for this, isn't I? Yeah, if I was, uh, I don't know what I'm doing after this, but if I was going to Tetbury from Hungerford, uh, I'm going to get there at quarter past two. Let's just say I'm there for an hour, so that's quarter past three. I'm going to struggle getting to Tetbury for four o'clock, uh, which is the cut-off point. Or is it half four? It might be half four. I think, it, yeah, I think it's actually half four. Okay. We might be right. We'll see. We uh, obviously try our best. Now, we've got to go in between these two yellow barriers. Now, I thought basically it scans inside your truck right uh, I thought maybe it was something to do with x-ray like seeing if you've got any immigrants or something in your trailer but I think it's less to do with that and more to do with the fact that it's checking for radiation you have no text five. Five. that's my text message tone yes so oh my um, my battery's actually nearly dying on my phone I'm gonna have to put that on charge in a sec while we're waiting 
to go in. Let me uh, just sort this out. There's no trucks behind me, is there? No. Bam, bam, bam. I've been there for so long that I've killed my phone. Because <laughs> I've been playing games on it. Wait for him to come on out. Those yellow machines should have uh, just scanned uh, the truck. Oh, there's a GA Shepherd behind me. They offered me a job once. When I left JK Transport, GA Transport offered me a job. Um, so you don't take my red? Or? Yeah, they offered me a job, but they're slightly too far away, so um, I didn't take them up on the opportunity, but they're right behind me, so I ran out. I thought the guy in the high-vis there was going to tell me to stop. <laughs> but the radiation's too high, then they're telling to go somewhere, and uh, basically he wasn't allowed to take it. Anyway, so as you saw, I've got uh, steel, like, I don't know what you call it. It says on here steel bars, but they're not really bars. It's like steel rings, coils. Coils, that's a good one. But they're led on their side, on the pallet, as opposed to upright. And... Uh, on the rolly bit, if that makes any any kind of sense. Oh, there's a canteen there. It'd be nice to have a truck park. Go to the canteen and have some food. But yeah, no, I was under the illusion I was getting some slate, because that's what we normally collect when we go to UECC in Portaby Docks, but uh, no slate for me, and I think they forgot about me as well. There's the bloke asked me what I wanted to get, and I said, I think it's slate. He goes, have you seen, have you been in the office? I said, yeah, I've been in the office. Have you given them your reference number? Yes, I've given my reference number. How long you been here? About an hour and a half, mate. And then they apologised for the wait, so I think I think they forgot about me. I mean, what can you do? They told me to go wait in the truck and uh, wait until someone comes out to me. What can you do? Right, we've got to give uh, Mr. Policeman me uh, the paperwork. Basically, it's a gate pass. It says that uh, you know I've been loaded out of so and so, and I got so and so on me. And 25 pallets, my registration number, basically gives me permission to leave. Let's give it to the policeman. Hi right, mate. Cheers buddy. Go, 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 go. Sometimes you put your foot down in this truck and it takes like five seconds to decide to go. <laughs> right, beautiful weather, beautiful sunny day. We've only got an hour and 20 minutes until we uh, until we get there. Oh, good news is because I was waiting for so long, I got a whole 45 minute break in. So, um, yeah, I was literally just playing games on my phone for like an hour and a half. <laughs> and two breaks. So, yeah, we got, uh, we've got plenty of driving time to go all the way to Hungford. We'll probably get unloaded and back back to the yard or back to wherever we need to go. Probably, probably have two and a half hours, three hours driving time. Uh, from when we leave Hungerford, so we've got plenty of driving time. Right, let's go, see you in a bit. Right, here we are in Hungerford. Just gonna go right at this roundabout here. Charnham Park, which is apparently up here on the right. The sat nav is telling me to go left. But I think I can go that way and it's quicker. It does say Charnham Park, it doesn't say weight limit or anything, so this is the way we're going. Uh, the way it was taking us was starting towards the dual carriageway and then turn right across uh, turn right across the dual carriageway. So it just yeah, in my opinion it's gonna be best to go this way. So yes. Let's go. I'm just keeping an eye out on the steering because there was uh, uh I'll uh, I'll pull over for you. There was a uh, an Arctic 
come in the other way just now, coming out of Hungerford, and it got a bit tight. He squeezed me over to the left, and I scraped the curb. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I just—I want to double check the wheels when I get out. But it doesn't feel 100% right. But we're just around the corner. It doesn't sound like I got a flat tire. There's no, there's no noise or anything. But I obviously I will take a look. Now, we're going to deliver to this company here on the left, Salt Sir. Good scene, it must be around the back. Oh, yeah, there's that building as well, though. Come on, Eric, just a trailer. All collections and delivery vehicles spin round. Yeah, I need to spin around, I think. Right, let's go see someone and uh, get this offloaded. See you in a bit. Right, we're uh, currently getting offloaded now. I'm trying to use one hand. There we go. So, all, all the coils. Coming off now. Uh, still don't know what we're doing once these are off, mind you. But um, we'll find out. I don't know, like maybe five minutes or so. So, let's get these off. Go to the next place. Right, we're done. We are done. Where's my phone? There it is. Ugh. Wasn't too bad. How long have we been sat here for? About, uh, about 20 minutes or so. Not too shabby. Oh, and there's nothing wrong with the truck either. I remember I said, uh, just wanted to give it a once over just to make sure it was all okay. Uh, it was all okay. It's just uh, an Arctic sort of pushed me over to the left a little bit. I scrubbed the wheels and uh, when when something like that happens, you're just wary a little bit. You just want to make sure it's all okay. So there wasn't anywhere for me really to stop and, uh, and check without impeding traffic. So I waited until I got here. So it's only half a mile away. All is good. Right, it's that now telling me to go right again. But I think I can just go left. I don't know why he's doing that. He's telling me to go round the long way. Oh mind. Where are you going? Excellent. Hey. Right. Uh, so plan is, I'm going to go to Malcourt Industries now in Tetbury. There's my hive is gone. I'm going to go to Malcourt Industries uh, in Tetbury. We're going to get reloaded with, uh, with product from them. And uh, that's going to be delivered tomorrow. So, that's going to be it for today's video. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, remember to give it like a thumbs up, a like and all that. Uh, and again, if you haven't done so, uh, click the link down below. Uh, I've got a deal with NCT, National Compliance Training. And if you uh, if you use my discount code LUKEC10, you get 10% off and you can get your CPC for a lot cheaper um, than, uh, than it would normally cost. So uh, yeah, go check them out. It's like £40.50, and pence, I believe. And uh, yeah, get your CPC for a bit cheaper than uh, what you expect. But that's it for now. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.